Well, pharma giant Pfizer says their antiviral pill under development for COVID-19 cuts the risk of hospitalization or deaths by 89% in vulnerable adults as per their clinical trial results. The global Pfizer chief has said that the drug has the ability to reduce the severity of COVID-19 infections and eliminate up to 9 out of 10 hospitalizations. Like Merck and their COVID-19 drug Molnupiravir, Pfizer to stop trials early as the initial results were so positive. Like Molnupiravir, Pfizer's drug is also an oral antiviral drug, i.e. it can be taken at home. The pill is given in combination with an older antiviral called Ritonavir. The combination treatment is called Paxlovid. It is expected to be given on the onset of COVID-19 symptoms. Patients are expected to take three pills two times a day. Well, the Pfizer drug cuts the risk of hospitalization and death by 89% in patients at high risk of developing severe COVID-19 when administered within three days of symptoms. No deaths were reported in patients who received the drug as compared to 10 deaths in patients who got the placebo. Pfizer's drug is designed to block an enzyme the coronavirus needs in order to multiply. Merck's Molnupiravir uses a different mechanism. It is designed to introduce errors in the genetic code of the virus. Well, it could be a happier new year. If Pfizer's drug gets approval, that means that we could see one more drug along with Molnupiravir in our global armory to fight COVID-19 by year end. That is if the approvals come through. Remember, UK has already given its nod to Molnupiravir, while both US and UK governments have placed orders for it as well. Pfizer plans to submit the data from its trials to the US drug regulator for emergency use authorization for the drug. The UK, in fact, has already placed orders for around 250,000 courses of Pfizer's antiviral. The US government also is expected to have secured doses of the drug. Pfizer is also in active discussions as per reports with 90 countries for supply agreements. Remember, Merck or MSD as it's known in India has signed supply agreements with 8 Indian companies for Molnupiravir and Divis is the authorised API supplier. So maybe we could see some kind of licensing agreements for the likes of Pfizer, but that we have to wait and watch.